Jackie here from GMC Creates and today I'm doing a Just For Fun video. I bought another magazine from Tesco's and it's called Make Special Cards. And this is a free gift. You get six cards and envelopes. You get stamps. I really like the wee birdie ones which is the reason I bought it. Some great sentiments, some flowers and some butterflies. I like this, you're my favourite. <laughs> so, you also get loads of papers. You know, just... And you get four sheets of toppers. Now, I've already used some of mine, but this will give you an idea. These ones here, I just went over my zig pen. They're buttons that you punch out and flowers. So I went over them with my zig pen and put glitter on them yesterday. Ready for use. Okay. This is another one. Here birdies. I love the birdies. Okay, and then this one, it's... I think it's based on sympathy. I see a lot of sympathy cards with it. You know, it's not totally my cup of tea. Oh, I might punch that out and glitter that one too. Oh, I could do that with the butterflies too. Anyway, and this one is the other one. Okay, so not really my cup of tea, but the other ones are, and the stamps are. Um, it was £10, so where's it in my eyes? Okay, so I'm just going to make a card today. Now, the magazine gives you tons of ideas, cards to make, you know, lots of different cards to make. Um, all three, it, all it is, is cards to make. Okay, you see, get well soon, that's, get well soon, get well soon. Oh, so you've, there's a get well soon section, there's a spread happiness section, just to say, oh yes, I see what it is now, okay, so there's a section and you're my favourite, you pretty. Oh, pretty. Oh, that's been stamped. Oh, I like that. So, anyway, this is the type of card I'm going to attempt to make today. Okay. Simply the best. Birthday. Aren't they so pretty? Right. So, I'm going to make a card today. I'm going to use one of the card bases and envelopes. Put that out there out of the way. Put my card base in. Now I am going to start. I have this card is like a grey blue card that I found in my card stash and it works perfectly with this and it comes from Hunky Dory, but I don't know the exact colour. So I am going to I have die cut four of the squares from tattered lace and I am going to put them on there like that okay and now we need some patterned papers on top oh so I don't use this one very often because it's centimeters right so if there's six about five and a half will we give five and a half a go Oops, five. That's only five, so will we give five a go? And see what that works like. Oh yes, I like that. So we'll have two of those. Okay. And then what other one will we use? I'm just using scraps from ones that I have already made. Oh I didn't show you the ones I've already made, did I? Okay, there's this one. 
you're my favourite with love and hugs. These are all from the thing. This is one of the stamps and I've cut it out. Well, this is a card base for my stash, by the way. As is this a card base for my stash. And the the tag the blue the tags there are for my stash. This is the kit. Kit. Petal palette from Stampin' Up and these are the buttons, glitter buttons. Then I made this one. You know, I've just added dies for my stash, and this is a die for my stash to emphasize that one. So that's number three, and I've done a this one too. And this is just a die for my stash. And these two hearts are for my stash. But this is and the papers are from the kit so that was the four that i made already so let me see what paper will i use i'm using i'm using oh i think if i'm using should i use this one or should i use this one Let me see. We'll cut it and see. Five by ten. That will give me two. Okay. Then that would go on there like that. Oops. And that one would go on there like that. And then we'd have that one and that one and we would have that one and this one and this this is the topper that I've popped out to use and this is going to go on the middle And I'm going to put a piece of card behind it. I've cut a piece of card to go behind it. I'm just going to round the corners of it. Oops. Honky Dory card is tough. Ah. Right. And then that will sit on top like that. Okay. So do I want that or do I want this? No, I'm going with the pink. I'm going to be brave and I'm just going to go for it. Right, let's stick some sticky stuff on and stick them down then. Okay. Whenever I am um, having a no mojo day, this is what I do. Something that's just easily comes together easily. Doesn't take a lot of time and effort, but still it's something that you're proud of and happy to share with others. So Let's now we have to guesstimate this where how far up we need these like that. Okay, be brave and go for it, Jackie. Right. Okay. 
Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. And um, I'm really into this making cards magazine at the minute. This is the third one I've bought. But I only buy it if I like. I only buy it if I like the paper kit. And if I didn't, I wouldn't bother. But I love the wee birdies. I think I'm a cute girl. I like cutesy. I like bright, bold and cutesy. Okay. So that's that. Then you're going to put this one on here. Okay, and you need to put that on some foam tape. So Northern Ireland weather is back to normal. It's dull and chilly, which is perfect for crafting. Right, that's going on there. Then we need a sentiment. So we do. Okay, that will do. Right. Are there sentiments in here that would do? Or do I want to stamp one? That'll be everything. That'll be birthday, simply the best. That'll be everything. Everything hanging on the tail, or a yellow, or one of these get well sin. We'll go with the get well sin, I think. And then I had a couple. I stamped a couple of the butterflies yesterday, but I didn't use them. So I kind of thought they might work like that. And that is our creation. Complete. Oh. Uh, uh, what did I do with the foam tape? Put it away again. There, and what did I do with them butterflies? What did I do with flutterbys? Or the other thing I was thinking was little birdies popped up. They did some little birdies popped up. Like that. And pads. I think I might do that. Or should I do that? And that. Shape my butterfly a wee bit. Give it a wee bit of glue in the end there. And stick it on there. Right, 
phone tape them for my wee birdie. And that's our card. Now, James, I think we are going to try a yellow gem on the butterfly on the flutterby. The yellow gem on the flutterby. And put a blue one on the get well soon. Okay, and that is our card done. Okay, where's the lid? Okay, I'm taking the lid off, can't find the lid. Oh my word. So that's the end of that card. I also have one here that I started yesterday and forgot to finish. So I'm just going to do it now. I drew round, this tag is one of the toppers, I drew round it and um, cut it out of a bit of this blue card. I need a new one. Okay. And I've just cut my own card base for this one. It is four and one eighths by 11 and a half scored at five and three quarters okay and one of the patterned papers And this is also some blue card. This is a dirty runny. I've used the hunky dory for all the rest. So I've run out of it. I only had two or three sheets. So I'm using another different blue for my from my stash. Okay, and then you just pop that on there. Then that's going on there, and then these wee birdies are going on there. Yesterday was a hectic day. I had my grandson, and he was in a blinking mid, the little beast. By the time he went home, I could have murdered him. Normie's full of beans and jumping all over the place and you can't get him to sit down but he's had a really bad chest and throat infection and he's still on antibiotics and still listless so we ended up just sitting on the sofa watching cartoons Of course, it doesn't help that David's not here because the first thing he asks is, where's Banda? Banda is what he called him whenever he couldn't say Granda. And even now that he can say Granda, he still calls him it. So we just call him Banda. So it's Banda and Granny and then 
it's Grand Terry. He's extremely lucky he's got great grandparents. Which helps when your daughter's a single parent. Okay. Now, we're just going to set that on approximately there. And then I cut out this banner that I want to put, or I didn't cut it out, I popped it out. I popped it out of the kit. And we want to put, we want to put tape on the ends. Um, and we want to double it to make it, that will make it level, but I want it to sit up a bit. So I'm going to double it up at this side and put maybe put one bit on that side. What we think should we put one bit on this side? And two bits then on the other ones. tape is so blink and sticky that it's sticking to everything. Sticking to my fingers. Sticking to the scissors. Okay. Right, and then, and I've lost one, I've lost one, I, the, I have this, this little butterfly, you die cut it and then you emboss, it embosses as well, so I did, I actually did three, but I can only find, I can't find the next size up, and I am going to put those on there. And we'll put him on there too. There's a teeny tiny one. Where did that go? I wanted that on there. I got a teeny tiny one. I wanted it on there. But I would like another teeny tiny one. So, so I did have them, but having had them and having them now are completely two different things. So maybe I'll just gemify that one. Do you think that looks bare? I think that looks a bit bare to me. Oops. Ha! Find the other one. See? I think I wanted them to go like that. I'll do that for a change just for a wee change just for a wee change so we're just going to glue the center Just want to make sure there's a flat bit in there for it to stick down. Oops. Oh, come on. Stay where I want you to stay. Right. And then this one's going on flat. Okay. 
Okay. James. James, James, James. Blue. Blue James. Blue James. That blinking tape stuck to me scissors. Boom. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay, one, two, three, Four and five. Right, I think that'll do. So that's another card I made with the kit. So that's six so far. And I haven't used any of the other style at all yet. But I seem to do that. I seem to like half of it and not all of it. Anyway, enough blurbing on. I hope you like what I did, my Just For Fun project. I'd love you to subscribe and call back. Till the next time, jai yay!